Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is your girl, Queen81. I'm here to do a quick tutorial for you guys. The tutorial is pretty much <laughs> step by step. There's no editing on this video. So, other than me coming on and letting you know that. But, I am showing you step by step how I get this look. It's a really basic look for fall. The color that I'm wearing is a green also paired with a brown base pink with blush. All the products are by either by Coastal Scents, Elf, or Avon. So stay tuned and thank you for watching these by Queen 81. To start off I'm going to use my Shadow Works uh, eye primer by Coastal Scents and I'm just going to add that primer to my fingers. I'm going to put it on both of my lids. Next what I'm going to do is, because I need an eyeshadow base, I am going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil. As you can see, it needs to be sharpened. So I am going to just go in and take a brush and just wipe the product onto my lid, just like that. And I'm just going to bring it up to this part right here. You don't have to cover your entire lid. So I'm going to do it like that. And I'm going to take some more of that product and put it onto my other lid. Next, what I'm going to do is just blend that in. Just like that. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put some of my Coastal Scent eyeshadows on, you guys. I think I'm going to go with this beautiful sage green right here if you guys can see that or not but I will give you the name of the hot pot the hot pot that I'm going to use, use is sage sensation and that's what it looks like okay put that to the side because first what I'm going to do is go in and take a transition color. Pretty much a transition color is a color that's going to help your eyeshadows uh, blend perfectly. So I'm going to take my blending brush if I can find it. No, I'm just playing. Okay, I'm going to take this blending brush right here and I'm going to take a brown eyeshadow and I'm going to put it in my part right here, the crease right here. So, the brown shadow that would be close for my skin tone, probably this shade right here. Yeah. So I'm going to use that shadow, and I'm just going to place it right there. See? And give it some definition. You can flip that brush over if you get too much product. Blend that in. You guys can see that or not. So I have a transition color. The next thing I'm going to do is go in and I'm going to add my highlight color. And the highlight color that I'm going to select is the highlight color here. I'll give you the name of this Coastal Sand Hot Pot. The transition color came from my 26 Blush and Shadow Palette. My Coastal 
supposed to sound. This is Hot Pot M04. Let's see if you guys can see that a little bit better. And that's what it looks like. And I'm just going to place this color underneath my eyebrow. And it's okay if this color is messy because you do have a blending brush to blend that eyeshadow in. So again, I'm going to go in with my blending brush to blend that product out. And then you can take some more of that dark eyeshadow and go in over it. That's what I'm going to do. A bit more, bring that up so that you can't see any harsh lines and that it's just not too much highlight. Okay, if you guys can see that or not, that's what it looks like. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and take a flat eyeshadow brush like this, which is my e.l.f. shadow brush, and I'm going to go in and take some of that stage sensation and place it on my lid. And I'm just going to pack that color on. Just like that. So you guys can see it. I know the lighting isn't perfect. Lighting. <laughs> yeah, it's like, sorry guys. But that is the Sage Sensation. And again, it is the screen right here. That's my host of scent. And I'm just going to take my blending brush and I'm just going to just blend all of the product in. Guys, just to make sure that there's no harsh lines and that it just blends effortlessly. Like that, as you can see. And then if you want to darken this look up just a little bit, you can actually go in and add like your pencil brush. I have like a pencil brush and it's made by e.l.f. It's e.l.f. contour brush. Yeah, brush. So you guys, with this e.l.f. contour brush, I'm going to take, there's a dark color in here. Let me see if I can get this out. The color that I'm going to add, just to give it a little definition, it's going to be Hot Pot MM1. And I want to say that this Hot Pot was in the, um, what is that Hot Pot collection? <sighs> what is it? I want to say it's a fall one. I can't think of the name of it, but Fall Festival. There you go. It's called the Fall Festival palette. And I believe that's the dark color that's in there, like a dark green. And I'm just going to just darken up this spot right here. Not going to put too much color. Just put it right there, just to give it some definition. Just make a little triangle, an open triangle, I guess you would say. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is go in and take my eyeliner. The eyeliner that I love to use, which I think I'm going to add some more to my cart because I've already put an elf cart together, you guys. I don't know if you've seen the elf website. 
but they pretty much have it like if you spend like twenty dollars you um, get five dollars off your order online at eyeslipsandface.com I believe that's the site and um, you get five dollars off and then you get another five dollar like gift cards used towards your next purchase so I'm thinking about ordering me some more liner because it's time to order some more it's starting to dry up so I'm just going to take my eyeliner brush and this brush is by e.l.f. it's just a small smudge brush I'm just putting here yeah because it's getting a little dry so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and just lighten my eyes like sometimes you have to swipe it across there a couple of times even though this 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 um eyeliner is pretty pigmented sometimes you may not get your line your lash line really well sometimes it's just best to hold your eye like this and just drag it along like that so a little bit of product right there next what I'm going to do is put in a color here which is my tear duct hmm. now I'm going to use my pencil brush which is this brush again and I'm going to try this little gold color here this is going to be my first time using this color This color is called Siesta Sands, and it is by Coastal Sands. And I'm just going to place this color into my tear duct for you guys. And if you guys can tell the difference, that's what the Sienna Sky looks like. Not see on the sky, but see us. <laughs> you guys, I'm getting my eyeshadows mixed up. Hey, we're live. Siesta Sands. <laughs> Just like that. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take one of my brushes so that I can line my bottom lash line with this pretty green. So, you can take any eyeshadow brush of your choice, whether it's a flat brush, or if you want to take one of these little eyeshadow things. These work too, these old school foam things, but this is by e.l.f. I want to say, this came with my e.l.f. So if you want to, you can take the bottom lash line, you can line it with the green that I put on top. what I'm doing now so I'm lining my bottom lash line with the sage green guys and that'll give you a more vibrant look I don't always line my bottom lash line though but I really like the way it looks. I know that this is not showing up well on camera. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to put in some pictures of this. Then what I'm going to do is just go over with that dark color again. This dark color um, HP, which is Hot Pot ME01. Again, this is from the Fall Festival palette. And just line this a little bit more here just to smoke it out just a little bit there okay 
Then I'm going to go in and add my mascara. As you can see, I'm dropping a little stick of stuff on the floor. I'm going to go in and add my mascara to my lashes. Right now, I'm using the Illegal Lash Lamp. I know that's not going to pick up on my camera, but it's Illegal Lash Lamp by Maybelline. So, go ahead and look put the mascara on my top and bottom lashes. You can add false lashes if you like. I like the way these extend your lashes too. It has false fibers in it. This is just a quick look as you can see. You guys. It doesn't take long at all to do this look. The next shadow that I'm going to use. <laughs> not shadow you guys. I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, blush on. And the blush I'm going to use, because I don't have that many blushes, but I plan on purchasing some more uh, blushes in the future. I'm going to put on this nice blush here. I don't know the name of the color, but it's in the um, Coastal Sands 26 Blush and Shadow Palette. And that's what it looks like. As you can see, it's come out of its palette because I didn't drop it. So, yeah, I love this this blush here. What I'm going to do is get my blush blush, which is my MAC blush blush. Ooh, what's up today? Me and my stuttering. What's going on? You guys. And if you can only see <laughs> what I have in front of me. I mean, really. It's a mess. But I'll offer you guys to show you guys how I put my makeup on. Here's my brush. <laughs> this is what it looks like. I'm just going to go in and just take it right here. And I like to put enough product, you know, pretty much on for both cheeks the first time around. That way I can determine if I'm putting on too much or not. Because I'm not really good at putting the blush on. I'm okay. I'm not a professional. But I enjoy putting the makeup on. I love the way Coastal Scent products look along with Avon. I really think that they're good products for a bargain, if you ask me. So Coastal Scents, Elf, and Avon have good products and I'm just going to pretty much just blend that in a little bit more and then you can put a highlight on if you want to if you guys can see that but I love that um, blush and I'm just highlighting my face contouring. I'm still learning how to contour. I'm so glad that I came to YouTube because I can definitely, you know, work on putting my makeup on, which is a good thing. So I'm going to take one of my eyeshadow and take this brush here. It's like a blending brush, so I'm just going to take one of my darkest shadow, which is the shadow that I use to do my contour on my on my uh, lid, and I'm just gonna pull it here. 
again sometimes I put too much product on my brush and then I have to switch sides <laughs> so hey I don't always contour my nose in fact, I'm still learning how to contour. So, you guys, if you have any tips for contouring the face, let me know. And then, if you have, like, some harsh lines here, just make sure you go over it. Hopefully I'm doing this right. I'm even going to try with my left hand. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I'm doing this right. And I just, just make sure it's good at all. So that's the contouring. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is add one of my lipsticks that I have. Now, there's multiple lipsticks you can add to this look. It's multiple. Now, I could go with this shade which is called Rose Wine. It's a nice, pretty brown-based pink. And um, I do have a lot of bronzy, like, gold lipsticks to put on as well. I have this lipstick called Velvet Vixen. Which I think would look pretty good with this one, with this look. Ooh, I'm talking crazy today. It's, it's late. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of colors that you can put on with this look. Even I, I like this bronzed. Not bronzed, but <laughs> see what I'm saying? I'm going too fast. Burnish gold. So, I'm picking a lot of looks. Okay. I think I'm going to go with the rose wine. And this is Avon's rose wine, you guys. Love this shade. I've worn this a couple of times. You may have seen me in some of my videos with this shade on. And that's rose wine. So, again, the rose wine is a good lipstick. And, of course, it complements the blush and the green on my eyeshadow. So, I hope you guys can really see the look that I just made on camera. I know that I need to step my camera game up. And then I have a spoolie by e.l.f. just to go over my eyebrows. It's almost time to get them arched. So, but that is the final look, you guys. Tell me what you think. If you have any questions or concerns about some of the products that I use to get this look. You know, as far as any lipstick colors that will look good with it as well. Please let me know. Thank you so much for watching Views by Queen 81. And have a good day. Bye.